Good morning. How are you doing this fine day? Uh, me? Uh, I'm increasingly convinced that David Bowie really was the glue holding the universe together and that without him we're just tumbling through space towards an inevitable oblivion. But thanks for asking. Uh, we've got a packed show for you today. Um, so without further ado, what say we roll the intro and get this show on the road? <laughs> Welcome to The Breakfast Show. I'm your host, Mark Anthony. It's Friday, the 16th of July, and as that bemused-looking guy just said, welcome to the New Look Breakfast Show. I am your host, Mark Anthony. In today's show, a UK demolition man has been shot dead. Uh, in Mallow goes, goes mobile in the fight against sight dust. Hitachi is sharing some autonomy secrets. And in a new segment, we check out who is buying new equipment and why. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions about these subjects or anything else for that matter, uh, please be sure to leave them in the chat and we will get to them just as soon as we possibly can. Before we get to all of that, though, let's pause a while to ponder the environmental cost of sending birthday cards to all of those celebrities with a birthday today. And it's many happy returns to actress and dancer Ginger Rogers, who famously did everything her co-star Fred Astaire did, only she did it backwards and in high heels. Uh, happy birthday also to Stuart Copeland, drummer with The Police, to Jackass star Chris Pontius, and to Stand By Me and Lost Boys actor Corey Feldman. Happy birthday to each and every one of them. Oh, and a very quick congratulations uh, to Luke Homer, who has just become uh, a site de uh, demolition site manager with Kawarden. Congratulations on that, Luke. Well deserved. Death is no stranger to us here at The Breakfast Show. Uh, we've reported on more than our fair share of site fatalities. And just yesterday, we lamented the passing of Kukuric excavators Ron Callan. But the news of the death of another UK demolition man is far more shocking. So I re received a call the other night uh, asking if I'd heard the news about Robert Williamson. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, Robert Williamson had worked at both E-Ranking Limited and Matthew Group uh, down in Sussex. To say that he left both under a cloud is something of an understatement, but I, I simply assumed that he had joined another demolition company in some capacity, and that was, that was the news. Nothing could have prepared me for the real news. Uh, according to a local newspaper report, Williamson sustained a fatal gunshot wound at a property in Dartford just after midday, way back on the 11th of May. Um, so we are coming to this somewhat belatedly. 69-year-old um, David Hucker has since pleaded not guilty to the murder uh, after appearing at Maidstone Crown, Co Crown Court. Apparently, the two men were known to each other. Uh, David Hucker appeared in court via prison video link and was remanded in custody ahead of a pre-trial review hearing on the 12th of November. His trial is due to start on the 6th of December and is expected to last for two weeks. We will bring you more news on that just as soon as we uh, receive it here. The Miller GT series heralds a new era of unrivaled power and cutting edge intelligent coupler technology, increasing job site safety, machine versatility and productivity. It's the added versatility that you need at the value you can afford. To find out more, visit millergroundbreaking.com. Dust is the bane of the demolition professional's life. Uh, it's difficult to contain and it causes friction with pedestrians and neighbors and above all, it's potentially hazardous to the health. Uh, now, we've all seen those dust cannons that blast a fine mist in the hope that the water droplets will catch the dust particles and bring them safely down to ground level. Depending upon the height on which they're required to deliver the water and the strength of any prevailing winds, these dust cannons offer varying degrees of efficacy. One of the best dust suppression systems I've seen recently, actually, is the Motofog uh, that is currently available on sale here um, through in Mallow or International Marketers London, as they used to be known. Uh, but there is a new Motofog model available. And as you're about to see, this one doesn't actually wait for the dust to come into range. This one goes straight to the source.
I don't know about you, but I'm very impressed with that. Uh, and the timing of its arrival just before the hottest days of summer really couldn't be better. So I wish John, Charlie, Belinda and the entire In Mallow team every success with this latest addition to their range. If you were watching yesterday, you will know that at 6pm on Thursday next week, those fine folks over at Hitachi Construction Machinery UK will be throwing open their, open their virtual doors on an event to introduce the new Zaxxis 7 medium excavators. That event will also showcase Hitachi's connected technology and its consite remote monitoring system. I'm going to be there, and one of the things that I want to know more about is this. <music> I have no idea if the Z-Core system will be part of next week's event, but I would encourage you to pre-register for that event just in case um, and so that you too can take part. Uh, to do so, just visit uh, www.hitachicm.co.uk forward slash connect hyphen with hyphen Hitachi. Uh, I will put a link to that in the show notes for today um, so that you can uh, head on over there. Uh, of course, if you can't be there in person, we'll be bringing you the highlights just as soon as that show ends. As someone that is happiest surrounded by books, the very thought a, of a library demolition chills me to the core. But that is precisely what is about to happen way up in Bonnie, Scotland. Um, the existing Strathblane Library in Glasgow has been earmarked for demolition. Thankfully, this is to make way for the construction of a new replacement, which will be a huge relief to all my fellow bibliophiles. Uh, the research team at the Builders Conference tell us that Paisley-based Clark Contracts is in contention for the new build element of the works, but a suitable demolition company has yet to be identified and appointed. You can find out more about this and many more project leads just like it over at buildersconference.co. Okay. Sorry to interrupt the guy with the funny glasses, but if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button as it helps our channel. Or, better still, share this video with a friend or a colleague. Thank you. Right, back to Beardy. Speaking of opportunities, I took a very quick look at the website of UK Demolition Jobs this morning, and it is absolutely overflowing with job vacancies uh, right about now, uh, with some superb demolition firms, actually. To give you a very quick taster, both Demolition Services and AJ Kelly are looking for uh, demolition excavator operators. Hughes and Salvage want a CCDO su supervisor. AR Demolition need a demolition site manager. And Down to Earth require uh, plant operatives. You can find out about all of those vacancies and many more besides over at ukdemolitionjobs.co.uk. Um, tell them I sent you. It won't help you get the job. I'd just like to feel useful. Uh, and finally, 
Equipment sales are the very lifeblood of the construction and demolition industry. They are also a barometer by which we judge the confidence of the sector or the lack thereof at times. Despite that, equipment sales often get overlooked by the industry media um, as we all clamour basically to cover the hot new sexy equipment. Well, we thought it was about time that we set that record straight. Time to bring these equipment sales into focus and to give the dealers and the salesmen and women their moment in the spotlight. Which is why we have created this. And the first to be featured in this brand new segment is family-owned ground worker Coinford, which has taken delivery of 40 new Thwaites dumpers. The new machines range in size from 3 to 9 tonnes. Coinford owns and operates a plant fleet of just over 450 machines. It already includes 160 dumpers, together with excavators up to 35 tonnes. This deal was facilitated via Thwaites-approved distributor for the area Jim Dicker Plant Sales. So congratulations to Coinford, to Jim Dicker Plant Sales, and and of course, to British manufacturer Thwaites. And just in passing, if there are any equipment finance or insurance companies out there that would like to put their brand in front of the millions and millions of people watching this show, perhaps you might like to consider sponsoring this segment. Just saying. Now, unless there's any other business, I would declare this episode of The Breakfast Show adjourned. That rounds off another week of these shows, a week in which we marked our 100th episode with a radical rebranding, all of which might make the continuity on tomorrow's omnibus weekend wrap just a little bit more problematic, but I have an editor for those things, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, if you did miss any of the shows this week, be sure to check back tomorrow as the weekend wrap is scheduled to drop first thing in the morning for all you early risers out there. Uh, I will roll the outro in just a second before hopping over into the chat to see what you'll have to say. But I will be back here, same time, same place on Monday. Until then, have a great day and a great weekend. Stay safe, look after yourself, your family, your friends, and your colleagues. And thanks for watching, as always. <laughs>